Assalamu alaikum. This presentation on the corner stitch is on a variant of the horizontal matrix suture that was specifically developed to sort out problems imposed by having angled part of the surface that to be sutured, like having a V or a Y or an X or a T type of flaps or wounds. The issues of having an angled a tissue to be sutured rather than straight edge is that the blood supply to the tip of this angle and to the tip of the corner of the skin for example uh, is reduced. The other is that maximum precision is required in order to replace the tip of the corner part where it should lie on the opposite surface. So a corner stitch was developed. It's a variant of the horizontal matrix suture specifically developed to sort out these two issues. Because we expect the blood supply to the tip of the angled uh, flap to be reduced, further reduction to the already reduced blood supply should be avoided. And that's how the corner stitch was developed. Rather than strangulating the uh, edge of the uh, uh, corner flap by the conventional type of sutures, the suture actually passes only under the surface and come to the other side uh, in order to be tied in the usual way. So that's why it's called a buried horizontal suture or a half buried horizontal suture. It doesn't pass into the full surface on the angled part of the, the uh, flap. Uh, you usually place the point of entry on the wider side of the skin, about six to eight millimeters from the edge, and then pass it to the under surface of the tip of the flap. Uh, again, avoiding uh, the tip, uh, you pass it about four millimeters from the tip itself. Just uh, a bite into the deeper dermis on this side, then you return back to the opposite side here and then tie your knot afterwards. And by avoiding any sutures around the tip itself, uh, you avoid compromising the uh, reduced blood supply but by placing a loop of the sutures into the inner dermis uh, about four millimeters from the tip, you still can bring about the tip to lie in the exact position required. And this is how it's being done. You start on the wider side of the skin, about six to eight millimeters from the edge, pass it to the angled part of the flap, avoid the tip, go about four millimeters at least from the tip, and don't penetrate to the surface again. You just pass it through the deeper dermis on this side, come back to the wider side of the skin, and then you tie the knot afterwards and you've now avoided any compromising sutures around the tip itself. There's only a small bite in the dermis that's going to bring about the angle tip to lie exactly where it should lie. This type of a stitch would be useful if you are suturing wounds in the form of X or shaped like a T or a Y or a V. Um, the incorrect way of doing this is to place any sutures, full uh, thickness sutures, uh, in the tip of the flap where the blood supply is reduced and you risk uh, having a necrotic tip to the flap. You just pass it into the dermis of the tip, bring it back to the wider side and tie the knot away from without compromising the blood supply to the tip, but still providing good opposition of the angle where it should lie. So that's just a simple, but still useful modification of the horizontal mattress suture. Salam alaikum.